Let's catch up as we do on a Friday with Gemma Tognini from GT Communications. Great to have you on set Great again, Gemma. Great to be here. What a week it's been. What a week it's been. <laughs> a lot of serious stuff. We've done a lot on China at the top of the program. I, yeah. I want to have a bit of fun with today's electioneering. Excellent. And I, I said at the top of the program that today's campaigning reminded me of a James Taylor song. Uh, you know the Steamroller Blues? Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm the Steamroller Yeah, I'm a steamroller, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's your quiz question. Why did why was I remind, reminded of that song today? Well, it was the Prime Minister's love me, love my faults moment. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, Let's show the Prime Minister yeah. saying he's a bulldozer. And I know Australians know that I can be a bit of a bulldozer when it comes to issues, and I suspect you guys know that too. But, you know, over the last few years, that's been pretty important. I've never seen someone call themselves a bulldozer before. I, Is he I, a D9 or a Tonka? Or? I never even... If you ask me to describe the Prime Minister, that is definitely one of the words I would never have used. <laughs> no. Never have used. I mean... Look, I, I, on the one hand, I look at that and go, a bit of self-awareness is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Um, well, it's, he's trying to reset, isn't he? He's he trying is. to say, I understand you might not like my style. Because I think a lot of people are saying that there has been that thread to the narrative in terms of I don't like him but I want a competent person, whereas you've got Mr Albanese who, OK, I'm taking 5% to fair work. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to shut down live sheep trade. No, no, I'm not. I don't know <laughs> the six-point plan to my most important social welfare policy that's worth $40 billion in the budget. So... Well, because uh, Albanese got in on the act because uh, when the Prime Minister said he was a bulldozer, yeah. well, Anthony Albanese decided he was something too. A bulldozer wrecks things. A bulldozer knocks things over. I'm a builder. That's what I am. It's All right, so, so we've got a bulldozer, bulldozer versus a builder. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> I still, so bad. I put it all away. I think it was James Taylor who had it best. Come on, roll on over there and help me lose the steamroller, steamroller blue. That's my preferred. Yeah, that's my yeah. preferred way to tackle this. Bulldozers, builders, and steamrollers. Who would have thunk it, hey? Not me. Now, Pauline Hanson's got another one of her great Love. cartoons out, and what she's done this time inside the ad, she's done uh, inside the cartoon, she's done political ads right. for each of the parties. Right. Let's have a look at the one for Scott Morrison. Hi, I'm Anthony Albanese, and I'm a leader. That's right. I'm a. I'm in charge, and I'm. I'm definitely a leader. I have a vision for Australia. That's not just about the next year, it's about the next three years. And hey, I might not be able to remember vital statistics or give any detail on my policies, but what I can do is, um, ah. Oh, elbow cut! Oh, just read the script. Oh, yep, sorry, Penny. Oh, sorry. Vote for me, please. Yeah, of course, it was not the Prime Minister, at least not yet. That was Albo. What did you make of it? Oh, I love them. I love these so much. They are prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> prophetic indeed. Yep. Thanks for joining us, Gemma. Great to Appreciate be here, it. boys. Well, a week to go. See what happens, eh?